What is up, everybody? It's Nick, Austin Rose Born Gamer, bringing you what a Call of Duty commentary? Are you kidding me? I, yes, I do still post Call of Duty commentaries. It's been a bit, a little, little bit of a stretch. That's because I was uh, focusing on Assassin's Creed for my montage, and I took a little break in the last couple weeks, and I haven't been posting as much as I like. I kind of blame the connection at home because uh, when I was at college, it was just lightning fast internet. As much as I could have complained about it at the time. Uh, do kind of miss it. I'll be getting back to that in a month, but you know, we'll save that for the future future video. You guys have something to look forward to, uh, especially you know with more quantity of videos. Not any degrade in the quality though, because you know high quality videos are what I'm all about. 1080p. Oh, although this will probably be 720p. Another story for another day. But what I did want to talk to you about is not my little mini marathon that I'm going to be doing for this week where I you know, spread the love on a couple different games, hopefully spanning three different games. You can name them if you want. I'm not going to. That is up to the loyal subscribers to do in their heads or in the comments, you know, whatever you'd like. Uh, what I do want to talk about today is the future of YouTube and especially the gaming aspect of that. Or you know what, specifically the gaming aspect of that. So uh, without further ado, let's uh, let's give a little history and uh, how Born Gamer, you know me as Nick, got into YouTube. So it was in about <clears throat> 2007 when Halo 3 and Call of Duty 4 came out. Well, it was actually in exactly 2007 when those both came out. Uh, yeah, I'm no history major. Um, <laughs> so when those both came out, Machinima was just a fledgling little channel with you know only a couple thousands of subscribers no big deal I'm still not jealous of that or anything but uh, <laughs> uh yeah machinima was really taken off to the point where they were posting out their actual machinima videos and for those of you that don't know what actual machinima is anymore uh, I don't blame you because they've kind of fallen off the wayside and have kind of gone into the phase two slash three of the YouTube gaming era, but I'm going to start with Phase 1 right now, and Phase 1 is what I considered to be, back in the day, when Halo 3 introduced theater mode, people took this as a way to make videos, make series, make just whatever you'd like, uh, music videos, there was a lot of great content coming out at that time, but there wasn't really much by way of commentaries. So, what Machinima did when Call of Duty came out, and not as much Call of Duty 4, but more mod, I'm going to say Modern Warfare 2, when people said, hey, like, there's capture cards out there, I can throw this on YouTube, like, Machinima is awesome, instead of posting a video where I have to script something on Halo, like, why can't I just sit down and say, uh, hey, I'm pretty good at Call of Duty, like, here is how I snipe, here is how I, you know, place claymores and conserve ammo, whatever, whatever you would be interested in, somebody was making a video for it, but Modern Warfare 2 really, really did start, like I said, Phase 2, to the point where it shifted from an entertainment value to where you weren't having a, I'm going to call it a personal relationship with the commentary, like you didn't really feel like you knew them because they were just talking to you, to this kind of phase two slash three where these commentators were starting to make a living off of their channel, and not a living by means of, you know, they get income from it, but a lot of these guys really, really do love the interactions just kind of like I do. Well, I mean, I, I do love the interaction. I don't kind of love the interaction that they get with their... F I'm going to call it fans. That was just a word that came to mind, but I'm going to say subscribers. Uh, some of these people uh, are just absolutely loyal, and there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever, but this kind of you know loyalty that has come from YouTube and just people posting videos to them playing commentaries is just something that I think a couple of years ago would have been absolutely unheard of because if you weren't making a Halo montage or a tips and tricks video like it was it was really something special and different but I don't think that your following would have been nearly as big as it was or as it is right now because there's people like White Boy and Woody's Gamertag who'd have just absolutely huge hardcore dedicated followings and none of that would have been possible if it weren't for this evolution of YouTube gaming. So, where I see this going, it came from, you know, Halo Machinima to Call of Duty videos, tips and tricks, and to these commentaries, to where people are giving out life advice, like Woody does, and uh, I Am The Attack gives out bro life advice. Uh, <laughs> not always to be followed, but absolutely hilarious if you've ever seen his channel. Um, so, I, I kind of wonder... What is the next evolution in this? Like, we already have these big followings. Like, are these people going to start 
you know, I mean, I know that there's only a handful of people out there who in YouTube gaming are making a career out of this, but like, what is the next, if not just the next game, what is the next style of commentary that's going to be coming out? So that's kind of what I wanted to pose a question to the audience. Definitely leave a comment down. Like, what do you think is going to be the future of YouTube gaming? Uh, something I feel is that YouTube will always be evolving. However, especially with this next uh, our next Call of Duty game, you're going to start seeing a trend, as I have in the last couple of years, where every time a Call of Duty comes out, there's a bit of a, uh, a lull a couple months right beforehand. Like, during the summer months, there's kind of a... Uh, a spark needed in the YouTube gaming community and right now you're seeing trolling so uh, just like they used to have videos of people you know funny videos that maybe a series would pop up out of nowhere like there was a RB and the chief in the past like that's something it's something's fresh however it's not for everybody but the timing that they come out like I said like the trolling stuff that's coming out right now that I'm very interested in is uh it's almost a response to the lack of enthusiasm for you know normal tips and tricks gameplay uh, just a normal commentary like if Call of Duty when Black Ops 2 comes out I could literally post a video of me saying oh my god this video or this game is complete garbage you guys should all absolutely hate it but I guarantee if I have enough of a following and I get enough of a kickstart that that video will have at least 1000 views on the simple basis that Black Ops 2 is <laughs> the title but in about six months from then, if I post a video saying Black Ops 2, this game, like, like whatever, ACR, Moab gameplay, like, no, nobody really cares. Like, I might get a couple hundred if I'm lucky, but the interest is just not there. So that's when there's going to have to be a, you know, a little bit of YouTube trickery, changing the name, making an interesting title, aka the future of YouTube gaming, uh, <laughs> might be coming out. So if you guys are ever wondering, like, when does all of the creativity start coming out? Yeah, it's definitely going to be coming out towards the summer months, just because people are going to... Uh, kind of the strong will survive during that time. You'll see a lot of people flourish when new games come out. So uh, I did not actually start my gaming until April or was it March? Sometime around then, which is really not a peak time, especially because I'm doing Assassin's Creed and COD. Uh, and I'm starting a bit of Minecraft, which I guess always has been out, it feels like. But it officially got big a couple years ago and it's really still going strong now. And uh, yeah, you're you're going to see a lot of garbage when new games come out so just be on the lookout definitely subscribe to the people you like a couple months beforehand and see uh, how their channels evolve but for now you know just just live it up live it up in the land of creativity that is YouTube in late July and early August so <laughs> so you're either gonna see complete garbage or something completely great and where you're gonna see a Moab by born gamer what's up with that that's the first Moab by the way that's my first Moab ever that is why this is such a trashy gameplay but uh you know Moab nonetheless a little bit of flawless action going on <laughs> almost feel like I should end it there in Modern Warfare 2 style but I must, you know, push on. So, I want to give a little, like, what, what do I think I should say is going to happen next? And I think that when Black Ops 2 comes out, that is kind of, definitely going to be the peak of YouTube commentaries until the next generation of consoles. Which, luckily enough, looks to be like it's going to be next holiday season, or maybe even that summer beforehand, because, uh... I think people are going to start realizing that it's just a lot of retreading the same ground. But for the moment, we can just live it up and all the great commentators. It's just kind of like the games we have now. Everybody is so used to what they're using that the creativity has to start flowing to get noticed. But until next generation of consoles, you know, it's going to be good. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until next time, I'll see you.